Hey Internet, it's your old friend Dominic here with the All American Casino Guide. Let me ask you a quick question. Do you know what a straddle bed is? Well, if you don't, you're in luck because today we're going to be explaining it and giving you the knowledge you need to understand the concept. And hopefully, you'll be able to take that knowledge and hit it big and become that poker legend you were always meant to be. So straddling means sitting or standing with your legs wide apart, or sitting or standing over an object, like a table, for example, with just one leg. That's really the simplest way to explain it, because straddle bets in poker work in a similar fashion. As a poker term, though, it's an optional bet that can be made by the player sitting to the left of the big blind. If you're new to the game of poker, the concept might be a little hard to grasp, but I'm going to try my best to make it as simple and easy to understand as possible. In the poker terms, straddling means to essentially throw in an optional blind bet before you have your cards dealt to you. As a reminder, blinds are a mandatory bet that are made by the first two players to the left of the dealer. So let's have a hypothetical situation where I have four players and the dealer represented by me. So the first player to the left of the dealer is called the small blind and they make half of the table minimum bet. So the table minimum bet we're gonna say is $10. So half of that is five. That makes this player the small blind, okay? Uh, then we have this player who is going to have to bet the table minimum, which is $10, which will represent with this red chip here. And then the third player, uh, the player directly to the left of the big blind is the player who could potentially make that straddle bet. That straddle bet is capped out at two X or two times the big blind. So they can bet pre-flop or actually pre-cards, pre-hole, uh, up to twice the big blind. Now this is a completely optional bet and not every casino allows it. We'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but so we're gonna say this player is now going ahead and putting down $20. They are the straddle bet because they are straddling the position between the big blind and the button. And then we have this fourth player over here uh, who has not yet decided to act. So they'll be dealt cards. They'll get to look at their cards and make actions and decisions accordingly. The rules on straddling vary wildly from casino to casino, and it's mostly only present at brick and mortar casinos. It's something you rarely ever come across online. Straddles are present in poker games which have a flop, such as Texas Hold'em, Omaha, and you really won't find them in any sort of five card draw or seven card stud kind of situation, something like that. Generally speaking, the straddle amount is double the big blind. But there are some examples where there are things called uncapped straddles, where it's essentially an unlimited straddle bet option. Uh, and this is typically what you'll find in a no limit poker situation. What's important to remember is that as long as you're making a regular or live straddle bet, you will still be able to take an action in the round. So it doesn't prevent you from doing anything else uh, after making the straddle bet, as long as you stick with that 2x big blind, so in this example, $20. But if you go with more than 2x the big blind, for example, 30 uh, or more in this example, then what you've done here is that's considered a standard raise and you've already taken your action for the round. Some casinos will even allow for uh, the dealer to be represented by a physical player who can take actions and make bets. Um, and they will even allow maybe only the dealer to make uh, these straddle bets. And those are called Mississippi straddles. So you might be asking yourself, what's the point of the straddle bet anyway? Well, it's to set a new minimum bet and it forces players to throw in a little bit more money than they usually would. And it's also very important in situations where you might be playing pot limit. It's a way of just getting that pot a little bit bigger. So after the straddle, the game proceeds as normal. There's no change to the gameplay at all. So now that I've explained the concept, let's get into whether it's actually useful or not and if there's any potential strategies or advantages that you can draw from it. One major advantage of straddling is that it's gonna give you the option to be the last player to act. As I mentioned earlier, if you're under the gun, that position right after the uh, big blind, you get to place yourself into a straddle position and take an action at the end of the turn. You are essentially buying that button position, which is pretty much considered to be the best betting position to be in. But do keep in mind that by making a straddle in the first place, you are gonna be actively encouraging players to place larger bets. So be prepared to fork out a few more chips in the process. Another advantage of straddle betting is in situations where you find yourself at a low skill table with some passive players or some real beginners. Straddling essentially puts these people on tilt 
pushes them out of their comfort zone and they're more likely to fold. The real power of the straddle bet is in its ability though to get more chips out of people, especially if you happen to be holding the nuts like a high pocket pair. Essentially, if the other players are playing loose, or if there just happens to be a happy drunk atmosphere at the table, it might encourage them to throw a few more chips out. And this is always in addition to that small raise you plan to make at the end of the round. It can be a great way to snag up some chips, especially if the mood's right. So my final tip is not so much a tip and more of a cautionary tale because straddling is generally not recommended by professional players. And in fact, is something that is highly frowned upon by most intermediate players. Some players find it annoying and in the long run, it can actually make you bleed more chips than it's actually earning you. It's definitely useful in certain situations, but overall, it's not something that many players out there think is a particularly good technique to use. So be careful when you use it and make sure you're using it in the right situation. So guys, I hope that this explanation of straddling has helped you grasp the concept. If you have any questions, please leave it as a comment down below or leave us a comment if you have any personal straddling stories of your own. Of course, try to keep them PG. Remember, of course, to clicky to clack that like button, slam that big red subscribe button, and ring a ding ding that notification bell while you're making sweet, sweet love to that share button. My name's Dominic. This has been the All-American Casino Guide. Wishing you luck and reminding you as always, play responsibly.